Yo, what's up? It's your boy Mark B with Eclipse Lawn Care. I'm going to show you how to uninstall some blades in case you want to replace them or you want to sharpen them. I'm going to show you what you need. Let's get to it. Okay, first thing you need, you need some kind of jack stand so you can lift your mower up as high as it can go without it falling. This is an ATV jack stand that I found over at Harbor Freight. I'm sure you get it at Lowe's, Home Depot, and all that good stuff. Then you need, bam, some kind of torque, wrench or torque impact, torque impact wrench. But you're gonna need a 15, 16 socket, and that's gonna be perfect to get those bolts out of there. So we're using the Skag V-Ride 32 Advantage. We're using the 32 Advantage deck. So this has two blades. What we need to do first is take this top plate off and this is gonna expose the nuts, the top of the nut. Bam. Put this aside. A 15, 16 socket will fit there and fit there. We have two blades underneath yeah so these are definitely gonna have to be sharpened or maybe even replaced we'll see so the crazy thing about this what's different from the other mowers is this is actually the bolt it goes all the way through so we could loosen it up from down here or we could loosen it up, loosen the bolt from top i think it's easier to loosen it up from the top so the whole bolt assembly comes apart so we got the bolt we have the spacer we got the blade then there's a washer we'll just leave that there let's go ahead and get the other one off so now that you got your blades off this is a good time to inspect whole blade this one's pretty beat up but I'm sure I could probably uh, sharpen it one more time yeah that's beat up this one's okay this one could be sharpened a couple of more times as well but what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna sharpen them up we'll see what it does for the next week or so then uh, of course the next time they go dull I'm gonna replace them do what you will with that Okay, so I went ahead and gave these a sharpen. Now let's go ahead and reinstall the same blades. Kind of wanted to mention something real quick. Whenever uh, you install the blades again, make sure that when they're underneath the deck, that they're like this, not like this, not like that, but like this. Okay, so you wanna tighten these up to 70 pounds of torque. You want these to kind of run in a line. Of course, they're staggered, but you want them in a the line. You don't want one going a horizontal and the other one going vertical. That way you don't have that mohawk going down your uh, stripe. So that's about it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, please like. We'll see you guys on the next one.